everybody's here welcome back to some more satisfactory uh we gotta check out our factory inspect <gasps> he's gone the factory inspector is gone i knew it would be i figured it would be uh anyways we are back we're doing some more things hopefully you're all having a wonderful day i'm having a fantastic day so last episode if you missed it we did some uh a little bit of oil refining here a little bit actually i'm curious to see how many tickets we, we got one we got one ticket out of the whole deal out of all of the uh, the rubber and plastic we processed, we got one ticket. Anyways, last episode, we worked on a little bit of oil processing. Um, we are kind of, right now, I'm keeping things kind of small. And I just want people to know that whilst you're watching this. The reason, like, things aren't huge and big is because we don't have everything unlocked. We don't have the trains. Once the trains come about, we're going to start ramping up production of, like, pretty much everything. But for now, I want to, like, my goal is to get the trains unlocked. That is the goal. So, we are going to head back to our factory. We're going to grab some plastic and some rubber. Because I have a feeling we're going to need it for something. And we're going to head back. So, we're going to see what we need in order to actually get trains going now i know we need a whole nother tier of research so we're gonna head up the other tier of research because i think we need it we need the uh the computers yes we need computers so we're gonna try to unlock that tier and then we're going to try to unlock trains um i think i'm probably gonna hand make some of the stuff right now i'm not gonna set up complete and like complete factories for this stuff because like i said once we get trains going i it, things are gonna change a little bit you know um for example like the plastic and rubber from here I don't need to worry about bringing that over to the main factory yet because actually hold on a second plastic and 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 copper sheeting make something there's copper over here oh we might actually just be able to make stuff over here uh anyway <laughs> oh shiny moment uh but yeah we're gonna see what we need for this stuff we're gonna get we're gonna get things going and actually update five is is it out today is it out at the at the time release this video i'm not 100 sure i think it might actually be so um if it is if you want to check out the server we still have the server going i am going to update it to the early access branch as soon as i can uh so then you shouldn't have to worry about running experimental mode and yeah we'd love to have you we'd love to have you it's just fun it's a good time gentleman rules um kind of things and you just got to be part of the discord server that's the only requirement got to be part of the discord server so um let's head back and we are back at the hub okay so industrial manufacturing is what we need for computers so we have wow we have everything we need um uh, actually yeah we have everything we need for that so let's go ahead and select that milestone let's get everything dropped off that we need to so we need 60 more motors and a lot more cable holy moly wait a second how come there's no lights on these machines uh what Why are there? There's not what? Rotors, stators. Where are the rotors coming from? Rotors are coming from up top. I must have power disconnected from rotors. Ah. Uh, we need to fix that right now before I forget. Okay, let's grab those. Let's go fix our power for our rotors. This is the issue when you completely redo your entire power network. <laughs> Things kind of get unhooked. So. Oh, oh, this wasn't, this room was a, a temporary room anyways. Okay, so rotors should be in here. Oh, you know what? No, these should all be, where did all of the lights go? Why are all the signal lights gone? We have power going to there, going to there. Do we not have power? We do. Did we run out of screws? I don't understand what's going on with all the um, all the signals. Like, why are none of the signals working? Wait, did I not hook up downstairs power? Oh shoot! Did this room get did not get hooked up again? Wait. Oh my gosh! It's this room. We're not even smelting anything. Jeez, Louise! Oh, <laughs> oh go figure. Um, did I bring in power from this side? Yeah, I did. I just didn't actually hook it up. So we need power going from there to there. That'll probably get this guy going again, right? Oh, that doesn't even need to get going. 
Um, hold on, let's go see what's going on over here. Um, this one. That one. Let's get rid of this guy, and then let's hook up power from there to there. Does that get those going again? Um, okay, so we have lights. Yes. Okay. Wow. Interesting, interesting. I need to make sure i uh, a little bit more careful about that stuff. All right. So let's go finish our research and then let's see what we need to get trains unlocked because that is really what I want here. I don't understand what's going on with like all this stuff. Are you powered? It's just idle. Yeah, everything, everything is idle right now. Jeez Louise, that's what I get. All right, so there's our motors. There's our cable. Industrial manufacturing unlocked, baby. We did the thing. So what did that unlock? The manufacturer, manufacturer truck, computer, modular engine, adaptive control unit. Line logistics and efficiency is recommended during integration. Okay, so now in order to get the train unlocked, we need 50 computers, 100 reinforced, 100 heavy modular frames, 500, I know we have these. This is probably going to be an issue. That's probably going to be an issue. Um, and then we also need expanded power infrastructure as well. So we get the fuel generator going, but I want the train first. Oh, do I want the train? So let's see what we need for computers to start with. We're going to need 10 circuit boards. And screws, which are the one thing that we ran out of. <laughs> Darn it. Oh, okay. Um... So we could actually go and set up circuit boards. We could go automate those. That wouldn't be too bad. But then we'd have to bring the circuit boards over to the main factory. That wouldn't be bad, though, at all. So let's do that. Let's go get circuit boards hooked up. Um, the only thing we need for circuit boards is going to be an assembler. And, oh, shoot. We're completely out of rotors. Ugh not good not good okay you know what i know what we're gonna do we're gonna utilize this time wait can we get a logistics mark four what is logistics mark four wait is logistics mark four not even oh expanded power infrastructure okay um we need to upgrade some stuff we need to make sure we're getting screws uh from point a to point b as fast as possible so we are going to need logistics uh we're gonna need some beams let's go grab some beams and then let's pop over here and let's make sure we are making enough. We're pumping enough iron out here to get what we need going. Uh, I think we could probably go ahead and hook up. What do we have? Two on each line right now. Let's go ahead and let's get some more on this line right here. Okay, so these are all cruising. That looks good. These are already Mark three belts. I think. Are you Mark three? You're already Mark threes. Are you a Mark three conveyor lift? Yep. Are you a Mark three belt? Oh, wait, hold on. This one over here is not running. Did we never hook this one back up? Oh, see, this is going to be an issue. Wait, what? We never hooked this line up. Oh my gosh. Okay, there we go. I was gonna say, I was like, something's going on here. Uh, this is gonna be an issue because a lot of these machines are gonna start kicking in at the same time, which is gonna cause uh, a power demand, but that's okay. So let's see here. Let's go ahead and do some upgrades on these belts as well. Now the screws are being made over here. So we definitely wanna make sure we're feeding this main line here. Because these are turning them into rods, right? And then rods into screws. Yes. Yes, that is what's happening. Okay. So let's do this. Conveyor mark three. Let's go ahead and upgrade that guy. We need, we need these to be going as quick as possible. And I know it's actually the screws themselves that's the issue, uh, but that's fine. So let's see, conveyor merger. We're gonna throw a merger on this one. 
This is not exactly how I wanted to do this, but it's going to have to work. So let's just run this all the way down here. Like this. And the reason we're doing this is so that way we can connect these to this and they can deliver the rods before all the machines take them, if that makes sense. Perfect. Okay, so now these are all going. Those are all going to flow into there. How many machines do we actually have making screws? Did we upgrade these belts already? Oh, yeah, we already hit these to upgrade. Okay. So now let's grab these. Add these to our line. And then we need to bring splitters all the way down and add those and hopefully that'll fix our screw problem for a little bit okay and then the last thing we need is we need to hook these things up with power i don't understand what happened to the lights um we had an update this morning so i'm actually wondering if that update broke the lights because <laughs> like i don't see any lights coming in here all right we should be good now how is all this i feel like we're just running out of iron right now Yes, we are running out of iron. So let's do this. We're going to pull this line. We're going to throw a splitter. Well, actually, you know what? That bottom line is only feeding one and the top line is getting fed by the other ones. Okay, so I think we'll be okay. Uh, did we make sure we upgraded these belts though? Uh, the top belt's not. Wait, hold on a second. Oh, shoot. That's right. The top belt's actually not even being fed currently. So what I've actually should have done is I should have set some of these to the top belt because the top... Yeah. Yeah, I need to set some of these to the top belt. Okay, so these look good. However, you know what we need to do? I don't think I ever did it either. I don't think I ever actually upgraded these miners to Mark IIs. Nope, I did not. I can't even believe I didn't do that either. All right, let's get this one upgraded to Mark II. Can't believe I never upgraded these things. And then I need to do another one. However, I need to make one more portable miner for that guy. There we go. That'll help bring in a lot more, um, a lot more raw ore and get it all smelted up. I don't like the visual stuff from the, uh, this, these don't look like Mark threes. I don't know what it is. Those just don't look like a Mark three belt to me. Did we upgrade all the belts over here? Let's go around here and check. Milestone exchange concluded. Fix it freighter re-entry complete. Oh, nope. Never finished all of it. See, that would have slowed us down again. Perfect. Okay, so that should be good now. Now we should be getting all of the irons. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Belt's filling up. Perfect. Are you guys actually making stuff? Iron ore? Did I just... No. Okay. I was like, did I just pop a fuse? I was hoping not. Uh, well, those are completely blocked right there. So that belt wasn't even connected. That's good to know, I guess. There we go. We got some massive flow now. Awesome. These guys are backing up. Making the rods, hopefully. Hopefully the rods are backing up. Getting wait, Waiting to get made into screws. Fantastic. Screws are coming out hot, maybe. Are you making anything right now? How have you not gotten a sink? Oh, you know what? These aren't even hooked up. Oh, that would probably help if I hooked him up, wouldn't it? Hey, look at that. Wait, why is the line stopped? Oh, it's because these are filling in. Very nice. Look at that. We have like a continuous thing of screws. Now, this only is 270 per minute. So that's really not as enough screws for like everything we need. However, this will get us back on 
Back up to after production because we can leave the server running and let the things happen. Okay, so that's doing its thing. How our screws screws are not being stored yet whatsoever. Now, the next step is to do the second floor and make sure that that screw line is also updated. And I actually re need to redo these lines because these are in the way of the walkway and I don't like that. Oh yeah, these are Mark threes. Oh, good. And you should be making rotors. Yes. Okay. Now this is requesting 200 per minute. Oh wow. You're not even making rotors. Get in here and start making some rotors there, bud. So that's going to be 200 per minute, which is about as it's, it's about whatever else can handle. Anyways, we can do 270. So we're just going to leave the two making rotors for now that we can get a little bit of a backup of screws. That'd be nice. And then we can start doing the stuff to make get our trains unlocked because that's what I want more than anything in this game right now is to make trains. You know, I never actually checked up here for rotors. Oh, well, they're going to be gone because the uh, the other machine was empty. <laughs> Eroders, they're completely gone. Oh, look at them go. And those are going to get turned into motors right away. All right, so I stole the constructors out of here. This was our temporary room of making stuff. Stole those out of there. We're going to go set up a circuit board making area, I think. So we're actually going to need, we're going to need a couple things. We are actually going to need some, that is not the right tab. There we go. Uh, we need one of these. We're going to need some smelters and assembler. We'll do two assemblers and that should work. That should be everything we need. So all I need portable miners. And then I'd also like to make sure that I have enough beams for belts. All right, we are good now. So let's go make this happen. We shall travel through the night to the land of oil and plastic and circuit boards. <gasps> Our factory inspector is back. He's not in his home though. You escaped your home factory inspector. Just letting you know. Oh, look, now we have lights again. All right, so the plan is we are just going to utilize this area right here to make uh, to make some circuit boards. Like, why not? Might as well, right? Okay, minor mark two. Go ahead and get that in there. Uh, we'll get some smelters in here and do some smeltery things. Let's see. Let's go ahead and line that up. Why not? We're going to get four of these. And then we're going to get, ooh, I probably need more assemblers actually, because we need to make copper plating and then turn that copper plating into electronics. So let's do, let's just do two with copper plating. Cause I feel like copper plating is one of those things. Like you just get so much of it and you don't actually utilize all of it, you know? So we'll just do this. Set those up. Uh, let's go ahead and set this one up to... This isn't even what I need for copper plating. I need a constructor for copper plating. Oh, jeez, no! How'd you guys get up here? How'd they get up here? They're not supposed to be up here. They're supposed to be safe. Uh, I don't even think I have... Do I have a... A pokey thing? I don't even have I don't even have one. Uh, can we go make one? Okay, we can make one Xeno Zapper. I'm gonna die. I already know it because those things have like they they have aimbots on. They never miss. Okay, hold on. Maybe we can maybe we can make them disappear. Well, actually, they did disappear. They're not even here anymore. Okay, I'm gonna get killed by them. Just wait. It's gonna happen. All right, you are going to make copper sheeting. Yes, perfect. Okay, so then those are gonna go out. Let's just go ahead and get everything hooked up right now. You're just gonna go to there. You're gonna go to there. We're gonna split the inside one. Very splitter, let's see. Uh, let's go ahead and bring it in this way. It's gonna hit a little bit, that's fine. 
So we'll have one there. We'll have one there. And then let's grab conveyor lift. Literally just going to go over the top like that. And then conveyor lift it back down. Like that. I don't care if it's hitting right now. Because this, like I said, this is not, this is not our final form. Oh, jeez. They're going to, they almost got me. They almost got me. Oh, he's here. <sighs> okay. Zapper at the ready. Oh, he jumped off the edge. How did he get up here? I don't know how they got up here. Especially from right here. Like, I don't know how they're getting up here. Um, okay. I did just realize that this isn't going to work because we're not going to have enough room in here. So, I'm going to redo all of this real quick. Oh, I found him. I don't know how they keep getting up here. I'm going to die from this. Ow. Yep, I'm gonna die. Where's the one two punch? Oh my gosh. I didn't die. Oh, I just smoked your son. Oh, I died. <laughs> oh no. Ah, oh, stupid things. I'm bringing my Xeno Basher with me this time. Do I have any berries to eat? Yeah, no, I got no food sources. Okay. Oh my gosh, I forget how much slower you move without the blade, the the blade dancer walker things. All right, you stupid alien acid splitter, spitter thing. Where are you? This is what I don't understand. They just like randomly appear. No, they come, they walk right up here, don't they? Where are you? There you are. Hello. Oh, come on. Thank you. Done with you. Good gosh. All right. Now back to our scheduled programming. Let's pick up where we left off. Let's get the rest of the stuff hooked up so we can get uh, this stuff automated. All right. So that's going to bring in our plating. And then the plating is going to go into here. And then we need to grab our plastic and bring it in here as well. Um, really? Can't you line up with this one right there? This is a merger, not a splitter. Okay, so now our plastic is going to come from there. So you know what? Let's actually do this. Let's actually bring it through. Right here. And we'll just bring it up into here. Might as well. So let's see. This one is our plastic. You know what? Do we have... I don't have the stuff for those. I do have the stuff for this. Let's go ahead and do this. Oh, darn it. I'm not zooping. Let's bring that all the way across there. And the reason I want to do that is because we have conveyor wall mounts. I know, right? I have never, haven't, I can't remember the last time I used these things. And we'll just bring these like that. We are going to have to use a conveyor lift though. So you know what? We'll just hit that one right there. Then we'll bring it to maybe right there. Well, that one yes perfect oh darn it i can't get up there now i guess we also don't need this huge glass area right here yeah those actually look pretty neat i, I, I kind of like that all right so there's plastic being brought in just like that and then conveyor lift mark three now, if I go like this, is that that's going to bring it up right here? Because, yeah, that almost needs to be up one more, doesn't it? Um, but if I use a splitter. Ah, that works just fine. I can I can I, I can deal with that. That looks OK. OK, so there's plastic and then that's what we need for the circuit board. 
and then we'll have an output container just kind of chilling over here do i have the stuff for industrial storage oh we do all right i think everything's good we just got to power it all up and call it a day now let's see we can actually pull power from let's see let's grab this guy we should be able to bring it over is that where it's at hold on we gotta get down in here i gotta make sure these are kind of at the same level i think that's like that okay so there's those two we'll bring those over into the other building because then we could also throw lights in there as needed all right everything's fired up running we should be getting electronics made here shortly. Those are accepting their plastic. And then this, I don't even, I didn't even see what the, um, the rate of this one was, but hopefully it's good enough. Uh, oh, we probably should have to select these in the... Oh, shoot. You know, I just realized I completely forgot a row of machines. <laughs> I completely forgot. Uh, we have a whole nother row of machines we need to throw in here. Oh, darn. Let's see if we can shoehorn them in here. How did I forget about the constructors? I have no idea how I forgot about the constructors. Uh, luckily, it'll be easy to hook up. Okay, that should work. Uh, <laughs> how did I forget about those things? Oh, and now I'm missing cable. Oh, jeez. You know what though i can make some because i have to clear the copper off of these belts anyways i should have got a little bit of copper out of that did i get a little bit of copper out of those yes i did okay gosh i can't believe i completely forgot these guys all right let's just go make these by hand there we go now that we're actually making copper sheeting and not just trying to fear, feed pure copper to these machines now we can actually hopefully hey factories what do you think man is it looking better are you are you pleased are you pleased you don't look pleased look at me look at me look at me tell me he doesn't want to tell me no talking today Okay, so how much copper sheeting does this actually produce? 10 per minute? And what could these accept? 15 per minute. So we have 20, so we're pulling 30. Okay, these aren't going to run optimally, but they're going to run nonetheless. And that's going to give us circuit boards. How come you're not getting any copper sheeting? Oh, it's because it's just not done yet. Um, I mean, we could add another machine wow it feels like we're not even getting enough copper though how come these ones aren't going oh are you kidding me it's like there's no way it's like that copper should be like completely full it should be coming out everywhere do i have enough for another one all right let's try to get one more because then that'll be like exactly equal. Let's run that one there and run that one there and select you to be copper sheeting as well. And then we'll grab a power wire and grab you and plug you in. And then voila, it is fixed. And now we are running 100% efficiency now. Uh, that is if the plastic can keep up. But honestly, if that fills up with uh, circuit boards, I think we'll probably be good. Now, for each computer, we need, I think it was 10 circuit boards. 10 circuit boards. Oh, so it means we need a total of 500 circuit boards and like a bajillion and a half screws, I think. If I math that right, it should be a bajillion and a half screws. <laughs> <laughs> screws are always the fun thing that we're always out of um all right how many circuit boards have we made already ah we've made 28 that you know what 28 out of 500 we're looking good we're looking good we're looking good and these make what uh seven and a half per minute so we have a total of 15 per minute 
So that means we have one computer per minute worth being made. So it's only going to take 500 minutes to wait to get enough circuit boards <laughs> to make the 50 computers. 500 minutes. I mean, that doesn't take very long. Oh, geez. Okay, so now <laughs> let's go. Uh, let's look at the other thing that we need here. We need the heavy modular frames. What do those require? I know they require screws. Like, I think everything in this game requires screws at some point. Um, heavy modular frame. Yeah, 100 screws. So, yes, we are going to need a bajillion screws. Because we also need a bajillion... Well, we're going to need two bajillion now. Hmm. Really should probably go automate these. But that is like a whole... Let, that's like... Oh, my goodness. We really, really need to automate computers. And we need to automate heavy modular frames. Oh. So, we need to bring back... We need to add screws onto the main hub line. And then we also need to make sure that we have pipes up there. We need to have make sure we have modular frame. Modular frames are already up there in case industrial beams are ready to be put on there. We do not have screws on there yet. I think we're going to have to supplement our screw production or try to ramp that up severely. Because we're going to need that on our main hub as well. And then we're going to have to build the floor above the hub unless we throw these in... Well, I guess we could make heavy modular frames inside of the room that we were making the temporary stuff in. All right, well, you know what? Either way, we're gonna let this run, let this do its thing uh, because we need a lot of stuff. So let's head back and let's see if we can figure out where we're gonna start putting these manufacturing machines at. Okay, so looking at my factory, kind of seeing what we got, what room we have. Uh, we have room down here. We have this floor right here. It's not being utilized. We've got this floor over here that's not being utilized. However, I don't want to put manufacturers down there because I think what we're going to do is we're going to use those rooms to add additional machines for additional parts that we need, like raw parts, like screws. So we might actually turn one of these rooms into like a screw manufacturing area. So what we're going to do is we're gonna do a lot of building because we're gonna raise i'm gonna have this hub room basically go up to this point right here and we're just gonna bring this over this whole room is gonna be the hub room and then we're gonna have another floor and then on that floor is when we're gonna start the manufacturers so basically what i need to do is I need to go through and put all the walls all the way around and I need to put an entire floor above me and I need to hook up another hypertube system to go up higher and we need to get the stairs hooked up and then I need to run the center column of walls so I get the power hooked up and lighting stuff hooked up for that next floor. Oh, do we got a lot of stuff to do. Now, it's not going to take too long because we can zoop it. Um, zooping is a, a phenomenal thing. But you can just imagine how big this next area is going to have to be. It's going to be quite large. Uh, and we got just a little bit of work to do. Just a little. Good gosh. Just a little. Um, and then we're also, on top of that, I'm probably going to have to run some more belts in here because we need to get screws on here. We need to make sure we're getting our um, encased industrial beams on here. We gotta get, yeah, basically just everything. We gotta get everything running on this hub. So I gotta work on that as well. So that is probably what I'm gonna do during either a live stream <laughs> or I'll just do it in my spare time, which I don't have a lot of because it is coming up to the holiday season. So. Um, I think we might end up streaming this at some point. So if you want to watch the stream, make sure you're part of uh, Twitch, twitch.tv slash Gaming. We'll probably be streaming over there. Um, and then also, before we go, we have another Patreon we have to thank. So thank you so much, Patreons, for uh, supporting the channel. Am I going to survive this? Uh, I guess we'll find out. Oh, yeah. Not even an issue. Not even an issue. 
So let's get our new Patreon added here before we head off. But uh, yes, thank you so much for coming out. And thank you so much, Patreons, for the support. I don't have any quartz. Come on. Ah, there we go. Raw quartz crystal. Fantastic. And there you have it. David W., thank you so much for becoming a Patreon and helping to support what I do. So um, yeah, if you guys are interested in becoming a Patreon, if you're bronze tier and above, you get put on the wall. So yeah, um, just a huge shout out for all you amazing people supporting the channel, supporting what I do. But that is going to end it next episode. Like I said, I don't know. We'll have to see because I am doing a little bit of pre-recording because the holidays are coming up. Uh, and like I said, I might do a live stream. So like we might have already live streamed at the point of this video coming out. And I'm sorry if we did, but we got work to do. We got work to do and I got to do it. So um, yes, yeah, thank you so much for coming out. Have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day. Make sure that if you enjoyed you, please leave a like on the video. And if you're new here and you think I earned it, consider subscribing as well for some more. But uh, see you next time. Bye, everybody.